The Arizona state senator who broke the news of the shooting on Twitter says he saw the gunman and heard the shots but didn't believe it was real until he saw people wounded just outside of his apartment. Team Charles, Brand Team Charles Resnick. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Kareem Bay. <laughs> it's, it's okay, Mark. Uh, Team 12's Bram Resnick spoke with Arizona State Senator Martin Quesada about the terror that he cannot forget. Westgate is Senator Martin Quesada's home. He told me he's still processing the shootings that happened right outside his front door. Senator Martin Quesada's Zoom call was broken up by gunshots. All of the power in the building I was in immediately went out. It was incredibly loud and there were multiple, multiple rounds. From his third floor apartment next to the Westgate Entertainment District, Quezada could see the gunman reload his weapon as he walked toward the building. I mean, I, I wasn't completely sure about what I had just seen. It was happening so fast that I didn't put it all together, that it was, it was really an active shooter or if it was some sort of practical joke. His instinct was to help. Then it all became real. I saw uh, two victims that were laying in the street and they were crying out in pain. Everybody was just absolutely stunned. Police were responding to the West Valley Sports and Entertainment Hub. Quezada's urgent tweet was a siren to the rest of the world. I just witnessed an armed terrorist with an AR-15 shoot up Westgate. There are multiple victims. I wasn't in senator mode <laughs> that I am, that I, I think I'm in 99% of the time. I think I was in kind of shocked witness mode. Quezada had this message for the gunman from the innocents terrorized at Westgate. That trauma is going to last much longer than the time he's going to spend in, in prison. You know, this, this is going to last for many people for the rest of their lives. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Okay, Bram.